Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's Uncle Aaron again, and thanks for watching today's Bible Zone video. Today, we're going to get started with our action memory verse, followed by the Bible story time, and then we'll finish with the Bible Zone praise song. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. So our action memory verse is from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. And these are the words of Jesus. It says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. That's Jesus just telling us that he's always going to be with us, even to the end of the age. That means to the end of time. Basically, he's going to be with us forever. So let's do it now with some actions. Are you ready? All right. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. I am with you always even to the end of the age. All right, did you get that? Let's do it one more time. Here we go. Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. All right, good job. Last week's video was called, Jesus Appeared to His Disciples. Let's see what happens in this week's video. When Jesus appeared to His disciples in a house in Jerusalem, one of Jesus' disciples, Thomas, was not there. Thomas heard the news. We've seen the Lord, his friends said, but Thomas did not believe that Jesus was alive. Thomas said, I want to see and touch the holes in his hands and his side, or I will never believe. Huh? One week later, Thomas was inside with the disciples when Jesus appeared again. Peace be with you, <gasps> he said. Then Jesus said to Thomas, put your finger here and look at my hands. Reach out and touch my side. Don't be an unbeliever. Believe. Thomas did believe. My Lord and my God, he said. Jesus said, you believed because you have seen me. Those who believe in me without seeing me are blessed. Jesus is still alive today. We have not seen Jesus, but if we believe in him, we will be blessed. Jesus sends out believers to tell others about him and gives us the Holy Spirit to help us. So Thomas had not been there when Jesus had appeared to all the other disciples. And he said he would not believe that Jesus was alive unless he saw him for himself. And unless he touched his hands where the nails, the nails had gone in when Jesus was crucified on the cross. Well, a few days later, exactly what Thomas had asked for happened. Jesus appeared again. And this time, Jesus appeared when Thomas was there. He would, didn't get mad at Thomas. In fact, he invited him to touch his hands to see where the nails had gone in when he died on the cross. And if you notice, Thomas was amazed and he said to Jesus, my Lord and my God. In other words, he acknowledged, he recognized that Jesus is God. He is so much more than just a person. He's God and he has risen from the dead. And Thomas celebrated that. Jesus was patient with Thomas, even though he doubted. And for us, we can also know that Jesus is patient with us when we have doubts as well. And when we turn to Jesus and to his word, the Bible, Jesus can help us with any doubts that we have. God's word, the Bible, teaches us all about Jesus so that we can know him and trust him, even though we haven't seen him. At least, not yet. Boys and girls, you might ask the question, what am I supposed to do if I have doubts, if I'm not sure about anything in the Bible or what we're supposed to believe about God? Well, that's a really good question and it's an, an important one because sometimes I think we might have doubts about something and that causes us to not believe in anything. 
But that's not the way the world works. That's not how we should live our lives. One thing that we can do is we can pray to God and say, God, I'm having trouble I'm believing in this or that. Whatever our doubt might be, we can pray to God and ask for his help. The other thing that we can do is we can make sure that we pursue truth. So just because we have a doubt about something, we shouldn't give up on everything. That doesn't make sense. And finally, we can read God's word, read the Bible, because there is more than enough evidence in there to help us to believe that what God said is true and that we can trust him with all of our lives. Boys and girls, I'd like to close with this question. What doubts do you have and what are you doing in order to find truth and to help with your doubts? Okay, boys and girls, it's time for our Bible Zone praise song. Our song that we're doing today is called Yes, It's True. And this song reminds us that we might have some doubts, but one thing we can never doubt is God's love for us. So let's think about that as we sing this song, Yes, It's True. Boys and girls, before we close in our prayer time, I want to remind you if you have any questions at all about anything you saw or heard today, or anything you might want to know about God or the Bible, I'd love to help answer those questions. So you can email me at the email address below, but make sure you get mom or dad's permission first. Let's pray. Dear God, I thank you that when we follow after you, you can help us to know you better and to increase our faith. But God, I pray with any doubts that we have, with any struggles that we might have um, with our beliefs, that you would help us to know the truth and that we would seek after the truth in order to know what it is that you want us to know about you and about your word, the Bible. Help us to do this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
Boys and girls, thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember, we can know that God wants us to know Him because He's revealed Himself to us through His Word, the Bible. I'll see you next week.